I have two words for you. Surprise yourself. So today we're going to talk all about getting out of your comfort zone and this video is going to be divided into two parts. One, I'm just going to quickly talk about why this matters and number two, we're going to go through the three lessons that I have learned in the past year. So hopefully this is going to be a quick video. Let's get right into it. So five days ago, I did something really out of my comfort zone. I signed up to become an agency nurse as an emergency nurse in the GTA or the greater Toronto area in Canada. And just for background, I had left the emergency department busy hospital scene about a year ago and I haven't been there since. If you have been kind of following my channel, you know how I have been ha having this dilemma about my nursing career. So I've just been trying out different things. I've been doing travel nursing, doing uh, dental nursing and now I'm doing agency nursing in the emergency department. And that experience really showed me that when you get out of your comfort zone, you really can surprise yourself. And that really leads into a ripple effect of improving your life for the better, not only in your personal self, but also in other areas of your life, in your health, in your finance and relationships and all that important things when it comes to improving your life. So lesson one is you're more capable than you give yourself credit for. And what I mean by this is that a lot of times we think that we're not capable of doing things that we feel like it's hard and we see other people doing it. We see them doing all these tasks that feel impossible for us. When you learn how to put yourself in those uncomfortable situations, you actually realize that you are more capable than what you give yourself credit for. So for example, with travel nursing, I was watching all of these YouTubers or YouTube people who are doing travel nursing and to me that just seemed complicated and hard and scary and once I started doing it it was actually a very really good experience so when I did the agency nursing I had zero orientation usually you get one day orientation and then they put you to work but for this specific work they were so sure that they were just like okay go to this new hospital learn everything and do your job being in that situation really forced me to to think that I have been in this kind of situation before where I don't know anyone and I've been an agency nurse before up in the remote community and just having those experiences has led me to have that confidence to actually face this situation with grace not with terrifying stress overwhelm obviously it was overwhelming because I was getting new information at the speed of life while taking care of these random patients that was put in my hand so really that's the first lesson lesson number two is that when you surprise yourself by taking action that action leads to clarity so a lot of times we are paralyzed by the things that we think whether you should do choice one choice two or sometimes we don't make any choice because we are paralyzed or we're scared of making the wrong decision I have done this a lot of times where I was like I don't know whether I want to do freelance writing full-time or I want to do travel nursing full-time I was just confused and so what I did is that I left my cushy job and I tried both I did freelance writing did not work well for me full-time and I did travel nursing and ended up loving it okay I said great now I have this feedback of that this is a situation that I like and that I want to do it again when you take action that actually leads to clarity so when you get out of your comfort zone and you take action that's what's going to give you the answers that you need because most of the time we're stuck in that situation where we don't know where we're going but yet we don't take any action and lesson number three is you are allowed to change your mind so getting out of your comfort zone is all about having an open mind and not being stuck to this one idea that this is going to be what I'm going to be choosing for the rest of my life once I choose it I think this happens because we're kind of conditioned this way where since the beginning of childhood we are asked what do you want to be when you grow up as if you can only have one thing that you can be when you grow up it's the same thing when it comes to being in high school and the society kind of conditioning us to take all these courses or sub or school material subjects that once you take this, you are not allowed to do anything else. So for example, when I was in high school, I actually did not take 
any science courses. I took business and law and sociology courses because I wanted to do something with business and I wanted to do something with technology. So I had avoided science courses, but then I took a gap year. Uh, long story short, I could not go to university. So I ended up taking the courses that I had missed in high school, which are science courses, biology, physics, chemistry. I was avoiding all of them and I ended up liking it that I decided to go into nursing. It's just kind of crazy about how society expects us to choose one thing when in reality we don't know or until we were put in that situation we're not gonna know what we want to do so once you do choose something remember that you are allowed to change your mind for me that happens all the time i was in nursing changed my mind about nursing and then changed my mind again about nursing but it doesn't matter it might look confusing to the outside world but that's okay because to me it feels real it feels authentic it feels like i'm on the right path being all in this even though it looks like a zigzag at all a zigzag and at the end of the day that's all that matters if it feels real to you if it feels like it's authentic if it feels like you're living your life as your truest self then it doesn't really matter i hope that these three lessons give you some sort of inspiration or at least a little bit of a boost to get out of your comfort zone and i really hope that you be kind to yourself and you take it one day at a time bye